Hi, it's Kurt, and welcome to another day of devotion. As we finish off this week, uh, we got maybe your favorite devotional ever. It's uh, from 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 7. Wow, we made it to 7. And the title of this one is, It's Okay to Get Married and Have Sex. Yeah, sex. I hope I have your attention by now. Yeah, sex between married people is not only allowed, it's encouraged in the Bible. Are there times you should hold back? Yeah, surprisingly, yes. And we'll talk about that Monday. But not often, it seems. God gifted us with sex. And like every other thing he gifts us with, we should use it in accordance with his will. 1 Corinthians 7 Verses 1 through 4 says this. Now, regarding the questions you asked in your letter, yes, it's good to abstain from sexual relations. But because there's so much sexual immorality, each man should have his own wife and each woman her own husband. The husband should fulfill his wife's sexual needs and the wife should fulfill her husband's needs. The wife gives authority over her body to her husband. The husband gives authority over his body to his wife. You see, the major problem we have with sex is that we use it outside of God's will to enhance or solidify a relationship or to casually pleasure ourselves or others. Because the husband-wife union is a picture of the kingdom of God, sex outside that union is just wrong. You can only unite by following God's will. Hey, our... Uh, Theme verse has been 1 Corinthians 2, 1 and 2, which says, when I first came to you, dear brothers and sisters, I did use lofty words and impressive wisdom to tell you God's secret plan, for I decided that while I was with you, I would forget everything except Jesus Christ, the one who was crucified. Well, this has been one, you know, I'm sure you've been going to yourself, I can't wait for his devotionals about sex. <laughs> um, me neither. Hey, uh, it's just part, another thing in God's plan, which is kind of awesome. Father, we love you. We're thankful for everything you give us, including sexual relations. And I'm thankful, especially for my wife. And I'm thankful for a time to uh, to just think about the things that you give us and that you we use and that you use to tell us about yourself. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hope you have a great weekend, guys. Uh, we're just at City Campus a couple more weeks, so come visit us this weekend if you're around. It's at, um, where is it? 1710 East 10th Street. They're in Jeff, uh, inside Maxwell's House of Music. 9.30 is when we are having church on Sunday. We'd love to have you. Otherwise, uh, we will uh, talk to you sometime. Oh, by the way, they're also having it, of course, at 9 and 11 at Eastside Christian Church on Veterans Parkway. There in Jeff, so you can go there too. And um, otherwise, I'll see you uh, real soon. Have a great weekend. Bye.